that are very are, are the, the most so the player who is the most representative of uh the representant of Andre is basically has always been Gilgamesh in the Brojo Cup. So right now he's facing a mirror match. It's probably the first time it ever happens ever since the start of the Brojo Cup. So I'm I'm really I really hope he's gonna make it because if he loses to Andre, he will have he will have absolutely no excuse. <laughs> so I really hope for him he is gonna be able to do it. That being said, here we go already with uh Gilgamesh out of burst. Okay, he found a way to open his open it up. Ooh, got the bait on the burst. Too far to get. Oh, he tried to go for the grab, but he delayed it a little bit too. Uh, though actually, he was a little bit too quick on it and wasn't able to uh, catch his opponent on the wake up frame. Is that going to be enough? No. Ooh, he tried to. Oh, yeah, he was wary of the. Um, definitely wary of the. Katsuro forgets to this way. This is really unfortunate for him. It's not going to die. It's not going to kill, though, but he will suffer from a hard knockdown. But it's kind of okay since he still has like a full bar of burst. Oh no, no entire! Here to see it! Oh, here we go, the sheen! Uh, no, here we go, the jumping! Oh no! Why? Why? No! No, Gilgabear, not like that! You had it! You literally had it! You needed any other any other move and you, you just had it. Anyways, here we go on. It's not over till it's over. Very nice blocks from Akashi J. Caught the back dash. Ah, uh, yeah, he's got uh, Gilgamesh in the corner, but Gilgamesh found the opening. Oh no, you hit the shit, boom! <laughs> Stomp. <laughs> Wait, this is gonna be an overhead. No overhead. This is looking pretty bad for Gilgamesh. Is that gonna kill? Not enough to kill. Oh no, he got opened up, but nice grab. Okay, everything can. Oh no! Got the back dash. No one to her! What you going up? No! Gilgamesh losing the dance. But it's okay, it's the first match. It doesn't mean anything. We shall see how it happens. Hopefully. Hopefully Gilgamesh is not too shaken from this uh this first round. He did have he did have the first round though. But he uh, he didn't confirm the um, the hit unfortunately for him. Yo, how are you doing Pung Jay? And welcome to the to the stream, man. How are you doing? That being said, here we go with... Oh, Gilgamesh with the dance. I'll try to go for another dance, but this time around, Akashiji didn't commit. No, where's the entire? Oh, Akashiji with the overhead. Ah, I got the 2S counter hit. This is going to do a lot of damage. Uh, ah, look at Ace. So, Cherry Sun, Cherry Sun, Cherry Sun, Cherry Sun. Mm, let's see. そうですね。えっと、Please contact your opponent. If you didn't contact him by the end of the second stream match of round one, you shall be eliminated. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to go. Okay, okay, here we go. Mm. And here we go with uh, the uh, pressure. Oh, okay. So Okay, here we go. 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 Okay, Akashiji with the Wild Assault in order to secure a... Ooh, and the Wake Up Kacho who gets a... Uh, I'm great, bro, excited about tomorrow because my birth... Ah, that's great to hear. And here we go with the... Ooh, Lord and Akashiji pressing all sorts of buttons and the block strings of Gilgamesh. Akashiji takes the second match as well. What is Gilgamesh gonna do? What is Gilgamesh gonna do? Let's see how this spins out. Mm. 
Okay. I don't know ways to contact Cherry Song. Yeah, uh, Cherry, if you're in the if you're in the chat, well, if you're on the stream, please contact your opponent. Your opponent is JB. So open Tonamel, open your chat on Tonamel with your opponent, and please uh, get in contact with your opponent right away. Because if you don't, if you don't get in contact and start your match before. Uh, not this match, but the second match, the second stream match is over, you will be disqualified from the tournament, okay? So please make sure to contact uh, JB as soon as possible. Thank you. Get that very set, here we go. Ah, Kashidi reading the grab attempt from Gilgamesh, and this should do for this... Uh, for this round. Oh, Lord! Ah, nice snuggy. Ah, went for the quick. I was trying to figure out how. I'll keep looking. Uh, you need to just open your... the tunnel. Just open Tonamel. The page of the tournament, you open the bracket. Since you're a player in the bracket, you should have access to the to the um, what it's called the detailed bracket. And from the detailed bracket, you click on your match, and then you have there you have your your chat with JB. If you need any help, just tell me. But the bracket is over here. You should have access to the detailed bracket from there. Uh, let me send it to you real quick. English only でしたか。うんぽいです。<笑>あ一応えっ、ー、とアメリカ人なんで、えー、どこに住んでらっしゃるかちょっとわからないんですけど、確かにアメリカ人で、あ韓国に住んでるアメリカのえっ、ー、と方っぽいです。はい。まあ、とりあえず、えー、カタカナは使えるんで、もしかしたら日本語も使えるかもしれないんで。はい、まあ、とりあえずちょっと調整のほどよろしくお願いします、ね。気合いの。And, uh, yeah. What am I doing? Here? Okay, good. Wait, so, wait. Okay, じゃあ頑張ってください、お二人とも。Okay, anyway, here we go with. Uh, with, with, with. Gilgamesh on the verge of getting. Oh, no! With the crow! Gilgamesh down. So, Haruki versus Cal. Let's see how this pans out. Both very strong players, both grinding the game like there's no tomorrow, Proof is, uh, proving that they both have a very big auras, yellow and the red aura. So, very strong players. Let's see how this pans out. Yeah, Andre Mir, that's not something you see every day, right? <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the 2D counter hit from Haruki, was able to put Karu in the corner. Let's see if. Oh, Lord! And the big Beyblade right across the scene made it so that Karu could... Uh, oh lord! Could close the gap between him and the Haruki. That being said, Haruki in front position right now. Oh, managed to bait or to at least read the, uh, the command grab attempt from Kalu. Punished him completely with the Elysian Driver. Not enough to kill, oh, but will now. Definitely is enough this time around. Very nice. Uh, awareness from uh, Haruki, knowing that probably the uh, Wolverine damage with only the simple uh, Elysian Driver wouldn't have been enough to kill his opponent, so he used the uh, used the Roman Cancel in order to add a little bit more of damage and made it so that it was enough for him to seal the deal for the first round. A little bit too late right there from Kalu to use the Wild Assault in order to uh, to get that that hard knockdown. Very nice use of the Rekka right there from Kalu in order to not only dispatch the uh what's called the the minions but also hit uh haruki right after it right after the, yo how are you doing hello motherfucker oh it didn't play though what the hell why didn't it play i am not pleased what's going on why didn't it play let me see something's wrong uh, oh okay maybe i didn't hear it wait 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 where's, where's hello mother humper the hell? I didn't hear it. Or maybe you did it at a moment where there was action I couldn't hear it. Let me see. Is it working? Yeah, it's working. Hello, motherfucker. Yeah, it's working. It's working. Okay. How are you doing? Welcome. How are you doing, uh, Hakuman? Long time no see, bro. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. And I can't see the chat anymore. Okay, now I can see. <laughs> now I can see. Everything's fine. Everything is back to how it should be. Anyways, both opponent right now in the corner and Cal with the standing S entire air. Hitting Haruki out of the air and pushing him straight into the right hand corner, trying to find the opening. Wow, the big 2HS right there, right on. Oh lord, and the 6H. 
OTG for the kill. Cal definitely trying to come back from his earlier loss in the first uh, the first match. It's all good, bro. Just usual uh, busy life. Finished my character crisis, so can refocus on Kimberly again on Street Fighter Six. That's good to hear, bro. Hopefully, we'll see you back on Guilty Gear Strive as well one day. That is something I'm definitely hoping for. Sadly, a little too GGST I played, I still couldn't get into this. Oh, really? Apparently, she's got buffs. Even the nerf that she received is, in fact, a good thing. That's what most bike and players tend to agree with. So, I would have thought that you would have, uh, you would have liked it. Yo, Gilga Bear. So you lost the, you lost the NG mirror, right, Gilga Bear? <laughs> I could feel that you were you were annoyed. I could definitely feel it. <laughs> but it's fine, Gilg. It's fine, it's fine. You'll, you have to lose this bracket, don't worry. Yo, Dom, how you doing? Good evening, bro. Uh, Ra Yulzen was my favorite spirit animal. Ra, Ra Yulzen, okay, got it. But you can still Ra Yulzen. And now you get a corner carry. Because it, it, um, it blows the enemy, like, uh, it blows it, it blows the enemy back, so. You knew that matchup can be, okay, fair enough, fair enough. I, I appreciate your sportsmanship. That is pretty nice. That being said, look at Cal, man. Already, already putting one back on the board in order to have a tie match right now. Very nicely done. So let's see how this pans out. And uh, I am pleased to announce that we have absolutely no other issue bracket-wise. And I love it when that happens. Uh, that being said, Haruki right now with the soccer kick right there. The playoff kick, I like to call it. And again with, oh, I thought he was going to go for the playoff kick loop, but Karu with the jab right now, the bar, it made it out of the pressure. Ooh, almost got scooped by the 2D right there. <laughs> oh, wow. They're playing uh, playing tag, playing tag with the Roman cancel right now. Uh, oh, wow. The awareness of Karu with the forward Fukio into the Beyblade in order not to get hit by the space min minion. Very nicely done. Oh, but here we go with the 2D. Scooping that Fukio, that forward Fukio attempt from Haruki made it so that Haruki was able to uh, to secure the second round. Oh, yeah, let's see. Gotta throw more cubes or more bullets. Exactly, but oh lord, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Look at Kalu's life. You don't have any life anymore. Damn. <laughs> Look at that, man. Ninety-eight percent of your life is gone. So, ooh. and Haruki with the freaking uh, how do you call this again? The, um, the, 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 damn it, how do you call this? The, the trip guard? Not trip guard, the, damn it. I've heard the name. I've heard the name of this stuff. Damn it. It's the, the point guard. G guard point, guard point. Here we go. Very good, very good. We're back. <laughs> damn, I couldn't get it back. The guard point, yeah. Anyways, here we go with the minion juggle right there from Haruki trying to bring Karu in the corner. Karu with uh, the uh, clone finding no one at home currently and here we go with the playoff kick again this should be enough to kill <laughs> karu exploding one too many times unfortunately for him which costs him yet again another round and just like this we're on set point by the way oh you cut it with the corner positioning needs to make it count ah, goes for the follow-up oh no even again he wanted to get that overhead enough to kill is it let's see let's see let's see boom yeah this is definitely gonna be enough to kill okay karu not out of this yet he definitely needs the next uh the next round in order to stay alive in the winner's bracket if not haruki will make it uh to the next to the next uh the next battle so let's see how this pans out that being said oh yeah haruki with a pretty nice start Ooh, using the guard point again missing karu's attempt to try to get his turn back and here we go with the uh tap dust into the wall uh the wall spot into the legion driver Hard knockdown, hard knockdown, what are you gonna be? Came back, wow, very nice use of the standing carry right there to dispatch both minions at the same time. A little bit late on the guard point right there for Haruki, catches back dash with the 2D though. And ooh, the big 2HS right there, oh no, I think Haru baited it. Oh no, he didn't, are you serious? Haru getting hit with the Elysian, raw Elysian driver. Still a rocking May now. Okay, okay. Still a okay. Just giving up on May. This is very, very surprising. I'm a little bit disappointed too. I thought that you know when you think about Stella, you think about Biken right away, especially since he's been so devoted to her for such a long time. So, ah, uh, hi. Yeah, what the Stella showing you must Uh, Cherry. Once you're done, once you're done uh, playing your matches, you need to validate the uh, 
the, the results of your opponent if you lost the match. So please go back on the chat with your match, with your opponent, and validate the results, please. <clears throat> okay, anyways, uh, here we go with... Biken can't beat Faust. Can't beat Faust? Okay. Maze definitely a counter pick. Ah, okay, okay, it's a counter pick. Okay, this makes sense. I can understand. But for now, he's going pretty well in, in Amato's favor, not going to lie. Okay, anyways, and uh, here we go with the start of the match of Bay counter hit right there on the standing H. Uh, standing, yeah, H. Oh, Lord. And here we go with the pressure. Ooh, Lord, Amato trying to go for that sneaky little uh, cross up, man. Unfortunately for him, couldn't quite get it. Nice, confirms right there from Slash. Should get a ton of damage. Oh, a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage. Oh, the big standing H, and here we go with Amato and the... Oh, too uh, far to get the close uh, uh, S. Fortunately for him, and get scooped by the Roman cancel into the uh, 6K, uh, 6K, uh, 6K speed. Wow, big overhead right there. Gonna get hit by the spear into the club. We go a lot of bananas right there. Oh no, there was only one banana, the other one was the cavalry, and Amato tried to go for the reset using the... the oh lord! Oh man, this is so chaotic. And still out with the freaking bait on the freaking burst. That was sick, good stuff from Stella. Get the dog knocked down. Not too far for the 6 speed. Nice patient from Stella, not pressing any button after the... Dive from Amato was able to uh, block every single hit of the mix, 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 and punish accordingly. Uh, at least that's what I think. I don't know if that was Stella's intention. It's definitely working uh, in his favor, though. So it definitely seems like uh, Mystic. Your point was uh, was the right one because for now it's going. Everything is going in, uh, in Stella's, uh, w uh, Stella's way. So let's see how. Oh, wow! This pans out. A big Totsugeki right into the startup of the spear. Gets the knockdown. Goes for the overhead. It's plus in this version. You need to be careful if you block it. Most people are not used to it anymore. Oh no! Oh lord! Oh and here we go with the teleportation. Amato with the confirms. Gonna get the corner carry. Try to... Oh made it seem like he was going for a uh, SPD. A um, command grab. Reset but actually didn't. Wow! The cojones on Stella right there to press a button. Right on the oh Lord. Ooh, how was this room? Because it was so sick. Forcing stuff to pop the burst. Oh Lord, and still, I'm in. Still with the aerial, um, Mr. Dolphin, the aerial super. That was sick. Good stuff from Stella bringing it back. That was actually pretty, pretty, pretty close. Okay, good stuff. Chelly, uh, okay, validated their, uh, their score, so it's perfect. Let's see how this pans out. Uh, next match is gonna be it's over six. Oh, I can't wait to see the, the next match as well. This is gonna be so crazy. Anyways, that being said, I like this match as well. So let's see how this pans out. Amato having a lot of problems against me for now, as I can see. Lord, oh, and again, man, but this time around, Amato. Oh no, Amato! Too late on his uh, too late on the the punish right there. And here we go, the bomb. Oh, nice close S counter, uh, closest to catch the back dash right there from Amato gets the bait on the burst but couldn't quite too late for the punish for the wow what was that oh lord okay too far to get the second hit though that would have spelled death for Amato wow Amato oh he gets no he didn't confirm the Roman gets oh Ryan gets hit by Mr. Dolphin yet again wow still a uh, man still uh, with the pretty nice uh the pretty nice man he's definitely been grinding for it as I can see, you no, know, very, very nicely done. If that is a counter pick, it's definitely working well in his favor. Let's see if Amato doesn't have anything under his, uh, um, in his, uh, mystery bag. But apparently not. It's gonna, he's gonna keep playing Faust character loyalist till the end. Unlike Stilla, by the way. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, as long as it gets you the win, this is all that counts. I'm not going to throw the stone at anybody. And here we go with the knockdown from... Oh, from Amato gonna get the juggle. Ooh! Got the juggle with the bomb, but too far to get the wall break. It's still okay. He's got the... Well, oh, the other corner positioning. This time around should be able to... Yeah, he's gonna get the kill. Boom! Here we go with the overhead. That was a pretty convincing round. Finally, Amato waking up. Let's see if he can bring it back. That would be sick. Ooh, but the big 6H counter hit. This did a ton of damage just from one hit. Oh, and here we go with the corner positioning. Trying to keep 
Faust. Oh, at bay. Can't get the side swap though, but should be able to get the... No, too far, but still can. Maybe it was a safe jump. No, you cannot press a button after this overhead anymore. It's not like this. A big far slash right there from... From Amato. Oh, Lord. Yeah, no. You cannot hit this bomb. And Little Faust came out to play to defend his, to defend his father. So many bombs everywhere. Okay, nice stuff for... Ooh, oh, wow. Still not getting the kill using the cavalry, man. You hate to see it if you're a Faust player. Okay, anyways, here we go. Potential uh, set point right there for Stella. Oh, didn't get the jump in there. And... We have Amato punishing it accordingly. Gets the closest counter hit. And the forest counter hit. Should be able to get the juggle and the wall break. No, not enough. He's got even better than that. Straight into the overdrive. This is going to do a lot of damage. Let's see how this turns out. Not enough to kill. Okay, good stuff. Oh, no. And here we go with... Oh, Amato trying to get that sneaky... Tap dust. Oh lord! Oh, the big six p but too late to punish the dive. And Amato finally putting one on the board. Still needs two more matches in order to stay in the winners bracket. If not, he'll be sending the losers. Let's see if he can make it. We shall see. Or maybe is still going to take this opportunity to go back to Biken. We don't know. Probably not the case though. Okie dokie, Brezen Cookie, and on to the next the battle. Okay, we're good to go. And finally... Oh, Lord Amato in the corner. Forced to... Ooh, that was a pretty late BD from still. Unfortunately, got scooped and grabbed by Amato. Oh, Lord, and Little Faust came out to play. At least it will mess up a little bit the Okizeme of, uh, of Stilla, thankfully. Oh, Lord, and just... Oh, no, no, no entire right there from Amato. Unfortunately, gets anchored. Back on the ground. Good stuff from Stilla. Again, set point. Is Mato going to be able to save it? We shall see. Totsugeki. Oh no! The freaking lateral. Iruka-san to get over the spear attempts from Amato. That was genius. Very nicely done by Stilla. Tried to go for the command grab. Ooh, and here we go. Ooh, Lord! And just like this with the two is still on. This is so like them. Uh, yeah, so let me just update the predictions real quick. Yes, uh, Ito versus Neko. Uh, let's see how this turns out. And yes, as you can see, Neko here is currently rocking. Not uh, Potemkin, but Sin, actually. So let's see how this turns out. Ito, a uh, chip main ever since the start of uh, the game. Let's see if... Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Very nice burst made from it. So that was sick. He's going to get the corner carry, is he? Oh, and he is. Is that going to be enough to kill? I don't think so. Guess not. This freaking super does zero damage. So let's see how this pans out. And the Alpha Blade for the kill. Ito takes the first round. Let's see if Nikozito can adjust and try to bring it back. We shall see. We go with the Elk Hunt, but... Oh, and that grab from it, oh man. Goes for the same jump, gets the close S counter hit. And the wall break in the process. Okay, so trying to go for the aiming for them with punishes and uh, doing very, very great. And just like this, the overdrive to punish you jump in attempt from Nicole here. This is going to be a perfect, man. Good stuff from Ito, definitely on point. Uh, Potemkin matchup is absolutely horrendous for, uh, for Potemkin. But, uh, yeah, if anybody can do it, it's definitely Nikola Hero. I do believe that, uh, yeah, Zell, also a very strong Potemkin player, managed to uh, defeat Ito in the last Tatakai Tuesday. So it's definitely possible for Nikola as well. Very nice use of the Wild Assault right there to deal the knockdown. Goes for the Gorilla Impact. Ooh, goes for the close S, and this is going to do a lot of damage. This is going to kill, actually. Wow, that was a sick. Good stuff from Nikoji manages to get the kill. Very convincingly so. With the slider head and Ito with the confirms right there. No sleep. Noticing that Nikoji was going to go for the um, slider head. And here we go with uh, the Rekka right there from Ito. Going for the Alpha Blade. 
and the wild assault for the guaranteed knockdown. Oh no, what was that? That was sick! Backdash into forward Roman cancel into the Potemkin Buster. We go the slider hit. Oh lord. And the Oh damn man Potemkin man! Not Potemkin Nikos you do with the perfect punish right there goes for the Oh lord, no too far to get anything. Oh lord, and the why was that that clash directly into the mega fist for the kill? And just like this, Nikos you bring it back, man. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. That was sick. Good stuff from Nikos you. Damn man. So many crazy interactions between them two. And Nikos you trying to, yeah. Trying to heal that knockdown gets it. And here we go. The freaking follow-up of the close S for the counter hit. Very nice experience there from it to manage to get the knockdown in the Ukizeme. Nikos you not afraid to press buttons though. This one. Oh lord, and you've been blocking for too long, sir. <laughs> Look at your Look at your health! What happened to your health gauge? Oh lord, gets the freaking juggle off of- Okay! And Nikos you just- Oh lord, trying to get- Oh no, that was a very unfortunate burst though from Eto- From uh, Nikos Yudo. He's definitely gonna get corner carried and corner burn- No! No, no, this is so unfortunate! Why? Poor unfortunate soul! Oh no! Ah, yeah. That was crazy! Yo, Exxon, how you doing? Thank you very much for the sub. Always much appreciated. I am the hype. How come we didn't see it, though? That's, this is strange. You see? Um, it, we'll see. Okay, I'll, I'll play next time. I, Yeah, I'll play uh, on the other... On the... Yeah, I'll play it on the other one. Don't worry. It's just that right now we're watching the game, so I can't... Uh, I can't... Uh, I can't um, play the, uh, the, the animation, but I'll put it later. Don't worry. Don't worry, I got you, I got you. And here we go with the flick. Nikozero getting side switch. Probably gonna get the corner broken. Oh, you are definitely the hype. You are the hype, man. Of course you are. Don't worry, you are. You are the delayed hype. That's what you are. <laughs> and we're gonna and we're everybody's gonna see it like in a couple of minutes, so don't worry. You are definitely the hype. <laughs> How you been man? I'm the rollback hype! <laughs> exactly. Good lord. And here we go with the next round. Nikos, you're doing a very good job of containing it, oh, by the way. And, oh, Lord. Again, man. Oh, the Potemkin Buster after the block. While the Salt Witch is plus for uh, Potemkin, by the way. Here we go with the jabs right there from it. Oh, trying to get, get that knockdown. But, man, Nikos, you're not giving it to him. Wow, even got the wall break. That was sick. That was sick. We go to oh the mega fist got it by the super uh, by the by the DP bud still man Nikos you don't set points who's gonna stop that man good lord and uh, here we go with the take pressure Garuda impact indeed no too far to get the jab you hate to see it you hate to see it you hate to see it and here we go with the jab 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 into nothing unfortunately. Oh, very nice overhead from it. Should be able to get that wall break. Yes, you will. Very nicely done. Get on to the next. Oh, Lord. Into the hammer fall. Again, man, with... Oh, uh, get the double. Oh, too far to get the Potemkin Buster. No, everybody. Here we go with the Mega Fist. Oh, that... Oh, Lord, what was that? That was sick. Is that going to be enough? I went for the cross up and they should be able to kill. Very nicely done. That was a nice reset by Eto, not going to lie. So Eto staying alive. Let's see if he can seal the deal specifically for this one. Good stuff from Eto. Should be able to get the oh no. <laughs> Again using Roman cancel to throw the, the timing of Nikos Hiru off him expecting an overhead when in fact Eto quick cancels into a low. Careful there. Ooh Lord! But the Garuda impact and Lord that figure with impact into the grab. They should be able to kill. Very nicely done by Nikos. You get the kill. 3, 2, 1. Uh, mounting star currently. Uh considered one of the best um uh Jacko in the country as of now. Well definitely mounting a star. There are still a lot of very strong Jacko in Japan, but Hagel is starting to uh get some pretty nice results like recently, so. Uh, definitely a player you want to keep uh, in your in your uh, in your magnifying glass, I might say. 
in your in your target because he is uh, definitely uh, putting in the work. And Takarin hasn't been as active as he was during the previous two seasons, uh, not participating to as many uh, tournaments and not getting as many results as well. But he is definitely there, definitely a threat, especially in our uh, tournament, a um, very old participant of uh, of the uh, Bird Cup. So it's always a pleasure to see him. Uh, anyways. Don't know if I asked what's your thought on Johnny and Asuka. Uh, yeah, I think they're interesting. I, Asuka is hella freaking hard to play. But he seems very, very, uh, very interesting and very strong. Uh, but he seems balanced. Even though, like, he's been winning, like, tournaments left and right. Well, not left and right, but I mean, you had Gobo who won the Arc Revel in Japan. Uh, using him. And you had, like, another player called Psychrosis in uh, Arc Revel in Philippines. Who actually managed to make top 8 in it. So yeah, you can see that Asuka is a very strong character. Well, he is strong. Uh, but he also has his flaws, which I feel are more than balanced. And I feel like Johnny is a little bit too early to really determine whether he's trash or not. But from what I saw, especially from characters like uh, from players like Omiko and other, you know, big players who've been uh, working on him, but like, he seems to have potential. He's definitely not as cracked as he was in Rift 2. But he seems to have potential and uh, I faced I, I, the good thing is that Eno has the matchup on both, both Asuka and uh, and Johnny, so I haven't overly um, struggled against e uh, either one. So I cannot like give a very educated guess regarding the true fairness. Wow, that was sick. <laughs> that was a sick dust. So I cannot give like an educated guess uh, guess uh, regarding exactly how fair they are or not because Eno has the matchup. I can definitely vouch for it. But uh, from what I seen, they seem like normally balanced, and I wouldn't give them more or take anything else uh, for now. So yeah, that's basically my um my opinion for now. Doing okay, usual pop alive. Haha, just focus on the game at the moment. Lol, just finished my first playthrough. Of oh, you finished it? It was pretty sick, right? I freaking love the what's it called? I forgot, I forgot the name. Uh, our damn it, armor armored core six. Yeah, it was freaking. It was crazy. I really loved it. Um, it, I finished Armored Core 6 before it got patched, so I got all of the bosses with their full, full power, you know. I did, I, I finished every single boss before the game got patched, so I, I'm pretty happy. I did all of the, uh, the bounties as well. Well, I don't know if you call them the bounties, but the, you know, the, the robot fights, uh, that you can, that you can do, that are not part of the story, but there are side quests, uh, whatever, so that you can get a better, a better grade and whatnot. I did all of them also before they were patched, so yeah. Uh, Act 1 boss was, yeah, it was, it was, man. <laughs> the arena, yeah, I finished all of the arena. It was pretty fun. I don't think I'm gonna do a second run, though. I I, I usually never do second runs of, of games, but uh, this game was really, really fun. I really liked it a lot. It was my first Armored Core, so I was definitely interested, and uh, it was a good experience overall. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that being said, look at this. Yeah, Takarin, man, trying to get that final hit. No, actually, it's the other way around. Oh, Lord, and Takarin getting scooped by the 2D. He's definitely not happy with this, I'm pretty sure. Ayala, up 2-0. to zero. What is Takarin gonna do? Let's see how this pans out. But yeah, the arena is really, really fun. Especially when you have a busted freaking build. It's really, really fun to, like, just go all ham out against your opponent and just, you know, just play the game. It's really fun. That's the thing is... Oh, really? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm not too hot on doing like NG pluses in in uh, in from software games. Usually one run is enough for me, except when I'm really trying to like platinum a game a game. But I don't feel like I want to platinum this this one. I did love like oh I I freaking love the uh, Elden Ring, so I was motivated enough to try to get the platinum. But yeah, uh, Armored Core I I really liked it, but yeah, not to that extent. That being said, here we go with the burst from Hagiara. I just read the endings instead. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I'm just gonna watch like a YouTube uh, video or whatnot. I don't, I just, I don't want to do like a whole playthrough just to get an alternate ending or whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm good. I'm good. Especially since NG plus plus means that you have to finish the game twice, right? So uh, you have to finish three times actually. Once the normal, then the the, the second run, and then the third run, right? Nah, hell no. I'm not doing this. Nah, hell no. I don't want to do it. Man, looks sad. If they had like a chapter select or whatnot, I, I'd do it, but nah, nah, I, I don't, I don't want to do it. Well, technically they do have a chapter select, but it's after you make the decision. You cannot, 
like use chapter select and then end up right before y your decision and change it so yeah it's kind of uh i wish i wish uh i'm all for like more challenging games and whatnot but i wish that from software would be a little bit nicer when it came to the replayability of the game not forcing you like to do ng plus or whatnot to 100 finish your game the game you know perhaps like give you like um a safe point before like important uh important decisions and then you and giving you the ability to go back to these particular points and choose an, an alternate you know it's so it's so fucking i'm sorry i said the f word by the way it's so freaking annoying to have like to do a whole playthrough just to get an alternate ending or path in those story. it's it's kind of you know it's not very user friendly i feel customer friendly even though i love from software i really do I really do, but uh, yeah, it's kind of yeah, it's not very nice of them <laughs> at some point. But then again, from software is not known to be nice. Oh lord, and Takarin, man, going down three to nil and being sent. I had to kill. I had to um, defeat Minerva, who is a super freaking boss in the game. She's so freaking hard. It's so crazy. But anyways, it was it was pretty fun. Anyways, is that the chaos one? Yeah, it's the the Final Fantasy VII one. Yeah. Chaos one is the 16, which I also uh, platinum, by the way. <laughs> I think I platinum. No, I didn't platinum. I didn't do the platinum for 16 because you, you need to do like a. Yeah, well, you need to finish the game twice, which is a big pet peeves of mine. I hate having to redo games just to get like uh, 100% to 100% done. So yeah, I didn't do it. Uh, by chaos, you probably mean E3, right? I think you mean E3. Or maybe you're talking about the other one, the. Uh, the, the Soul Voyager, whatever the hell it's called, I forgot the name. <laughs> I forgot the name. Yeah, it's not the Chaos one. The, the Soul's like one you're talking about, probably. Oh lord, here we go to Moron with the counter hit right there. Keeping the corner uh, positioning, trying to open Kohide up. And Kohide, man, with the cojones. Yeah, the FF1 remake, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of want to do this one too, though. It seems really interesting. I did the, de the demo for this one, but I didn't quite finish it. Well, I did. I only did the demo, so obviously I didn't finish it. But I'm kind of interested to see how it. Oh lord! And the option select to catch the bag that from Kohide gets the kill. Very nicely done. That was a pretty nice option select. Like, not going to lie. Lives of P. Uh, Lives of P. I want to do it as well. But you're talking about yeah, the FF1 remake that you're talking about is like a, a, a it's like a Souls like game. It's like a Final Fantasy with like Souls-like elements, basically. But Lies of P is also a game I want to do a lot. I really want to do it. I'm gonna buy it as soon as it, it it's cheaper, because <laughs> I'm a cheap steak. <laughs> that being said, here we go with Kohide. Gonna get the wall break. Yes, he will. Precisely nice use the burst in order to secure the the knockdown, and here we go with the follow up for the kill. What is Marone gonna do? We shall see. Down to the next battle, Kohide with the tick pressure again with us. Oh lord. Oh, that was a big 4S counter hit. Opens. Kohide up with the 2S. Again with the 2S, go with the stunnage. Very nice grab from Marone. Gonna go for another grab. Oh lord, win for the fake overhead into the cross. A very nice back dash into the grab from Kohide. Oh, went for the Nasante, found the opening with the 2S. Again with the delayed standing S into the uh, Trovao. Not Trovao, the uh, point, not the point. Uh, the simple two round. Ooh, and the big, big, big wild assault right there. Counter hit for uh, Kohide secures the second match. Let's see oh, yeah, if Maron is Kayak. Let's see how this spins out. And Maron, actually, man. Has been uh, working on Kai quite often these days, so let's see if he's not too. Me, I just see So sne, so sne. Ooh, and here we go with the tick pressure. Oh, Lord, yeah, Maron trying to get that knockdown, but man, Kohide with the 6P, that's really been working well for him. Here we go with Maron, got the uh, corner, the knockdown, gonna get the, uh, the juggle with the top. Ooh, Lord! And. Here we go straight into the Ventania for monstrous damage. Well, for a pretty nice amount of damage. Oh, Lord. Oh, big Nasante right there. Okay, here we go. No, too far, but it's okay. 
Maron still has an opportunity. Lord and Asante goes for the grab and gets the kill. Maron finally with one round on the board. Is Maron going to be able to take the second one? We shall see. Oh, the top two far too hit. No, 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 no. Damn. And here we go in the corner. Straight into the Ventania for the art knockdown. What is going to be the OK? We shall see. Oh, the big 4HS counter hit. This did a ton of damage. And we are on set point. Let's see how this turns out. Right for the wait. And. Konbawa. Ah, Miracle san. Yoroshiko onegaishimasu. Saki no, eh, to, aye desu yone, haishin no, eh, to, kakusan. Arigatou gozaimashita. Totemo, askarimashita. Of course, they do. Why not? Okay, here we go. Next match, Hagara versus Sutera. Let's see how this pans out. Uh, let me get. Use on Okay, sir, the way. And here we go with this is the first match of the uh, winner semifinals. So let's see how this turns out. It is going to be uh, none other than Stella versus Ayala. Ayala playing the pressure right now manages to find the opening. Yeah. I gotta definitely wary. Oh lord! Here we go with the reset of not the reset but the the mix using the follow-up of the but that was unfortunate for Stella. Missed time his taken dust and made it so that Hagiara was able to punish him accordingly. Here we go in at the corner. Hagiara trying to Oh Lord! Even got the bait. Oh lord! And got the juggle. Got the bait on the YRC as well as the juggle. The follow-up juggle for the kill. I gotta with the lead. I said that wins Brodro, I will repick up uh, by it. Okay, okay. I'll hold you to your words. Very nice. Oh, Lord, here we go with the Hiragi. Here we go with the Yozan Sen. Got the knockback. Should be able to get the juggle. Yes, he does. And here we go with the corner. Come look at this. Not enough. Not enough to kill, unfortunately. But it's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's see how Stella manages. Oh, Lord. Oh, gets the kill with the cross up. Very nicely done. Stella getting the cross of making the 6p of Hagiara with and punishing on his way down. Big 6p there from Hagiara, unfortunately. Or Stella. Stella gonna be fourth in the corner where every single. Oh, very nice jab right there from Stella. But gonna get. Oh, Lord. Playoff kick to buy Hagiara. With the playoff loop. Hagiara not afraid of the Hiragi at all. Oh, Lord. Stella, man. Very nice use of Roman Kesso, and he's gonna get the burst bait. Just like this, Hagiara takes the first round. The first match, I'm sorry. Very nicely done. Let's see if Stella. Uh, if Stella. Yo, Akemi, ça va bien? Comment vas-tu, bro? Let's see if uh, Hagiara can bring it back. We shall see. Oh, Lord. Kabari, indeed. Ah, no kill on the minion there. That is unfortunate. Or. Ça va ah, bah, toujours bien. Merci pour le euh, pour la sus euh, Street Fighter. Je savais pas du tout que ça existait. Ça va me rendre la vie beaucoup plus facile et mon stream beaucoup plus professionnel. <rire> en tout cas, merci, merci. Ça fait très plaisir. Ok, here we go with Hagiara for the juggle. Oh Lord, even got the freaking the freaking block on the Yotansen. Hagiara ah, yeah, should be able to get the kill there with the Elysian Drive. Very nicely done. Okay, and here we go for the second round of this second match. Oh, and that was a big clash, but in favor of Hayala. Look at the damage already. Still uh, not a fridge press buttons. Oh, no, that was a bad burst, though. But still uh, doubting himself right there. And unfortunately, couldn't quite get the uh, the punish. Yeah, the, cor the correct punish right there. And oh, the freaking again, the guard point from Hayala. Oh lord, here we go the grab. It is mix time. Yo, it's on send indeed. Let's see how this pans out. Not enough to kill. Nah, definitely not enough to kill. But still, I oh wow. Okay, that was 
The Stranger, no, and the Kabari man going over the 2D of, of Hagiara. And Hagiara just like this puts another one on the board. Keta, c'est un monstre. Ouais, Keta, il est fort, t'as vu, hein? C'était un truc de ouf. Il était très très fort. C'était étonnant de voir, euh, de voir un joueur de son calibre dans la, dans la Bourge Cup. C'était cool. Mais ouais, carrément, carrément. J'ai hâte de voir s'il si, euh, va, il va revenir, du coup. On verra bien, on verra bien la prochaine fois. And here we go, the jump in. Very nice aerial grab right there from Hagala Man. Gets the punish on the 2HS2. Hagala Man running a train right now on Silla. Huh? It's right to see Stila so confused. What the hell is going on? Yeah, but Hagala has been uh, working a lot. But, 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 oh, Stila with the freaking Schmexy combos. What the hell was that? That was a Schmexy combo right there. Yo Akita, ça va bien gros, comment vas-tu Long time no see mon ami, ça va bien Well, let's see how this spins out. Ooh, the big two is the closest, I'm sorry. Entire from Hagala. Yeah, hit by the cross up your Nintendo. Again, okay, here we go with the Kabari. Oh no, Hagala man. Using uh, an additional Roman cancel bar for. Uh, unfortunately. Nah. And here we go, Hagala got the knockdown. Goes for the cross up. Nice patience from Sela, not. Ooh! Hello, Burst! How are you doing? And Hagala using this opportunity to punish adequately and getting the kill for this third match. Still out with the. Finally putting one on the board. That was sick. That was pretty sick, not going to lie. That was pretty sick. Good stuff from Stella. Very nicely done. So let's see how this pans out. Oh man, still uh, trying to find his way in. I gotta try to put their minion games. Wow, hit the freaking guard point again. Oh, very nice. Just defend right there from still. I uh, was able to get the punish too. Ah, uh, too far and still not enough. So far and yet not enough to uh, to to reach the two the two K of Hagara man. And again with the 2k, and this should be it for um, for Hagara. Hagara on set point. Is he gonna be able to seal Lydia? We shall see. Oh, round start. You was on send from still. Uh, tries to get the jump in. Oh, wow. Oh, no, that was a very unfortunate burst for um, Hagara. Look at the damage. Oh, tried to go for the cross up your on send a little bit too far though. But got the follow-up of the Kabari, and this should be enough to kill. Good stuff from Stella, not out of this yet. Stella definitely needs the following round in order to stay in the winner's side of the bracket. If not, he'll be sending the losers. Big two, six P right there. <gasps> from Hagiara and Stella waking up with the Hiragi. Couldn't quite read the bag dash from Hagiara though. Uh, Stella forced to pop the burst, and again with the 6 p it's working a lot for them. Uh, Hagiara just needs one more opening. Ooh, the cojones on Stella. Almost got the bait on the burst, that would've been sick. Uh, okay, and here we yeah. go. Okay, now, oh no, Hagiara. Hagiara found the opening. Ooh, very nice grab. One hit is all that matters. Goes for the, no, no. Ah, this is looking pretty bad. No, from Sela, and this is death. Good stuff from Ayala gets the kill and sends Stella in the losers bracket. Yo, Akashi, thank you for uh, for the matches. Uh, you as well. try to do my best though. But anyways, thanks for participating. And that being said, we are moving on to the second match of uh, the uh, semi uh, the uh, winners semifinal side. So let's see how this pans out. Nikoji rocking sin again. Let's see how this pans out. Uh, Nikos, you're probably wary of uh, high mobility characters such as Giovanna and Chip, and probably resorting to using Sin as he has more defensive options than Potemkin, and probably more opportunities to snap his own turn. I suppose. Anyway, then here we go with ooh the corner pressure. Very nice standing key right there from Kohide managed to get the punish, and a double Nisante. Right there into the point, not the point, the um, what's it called? The um, ah, damn it, I forgot the name of her freaking attack. The not this Viltura, the other one, uh, Giovanna, just the loop. 
The Troval, I believe it is. I keep mixing them up, by the way. <laughs> Good stuff from Kohide. It takes the first round. Okay, so. Uh, Sepulchre is this one, okay. And Troval, yes it is. Troval it was. Okay, got it. Yeah, Troval. It's Troval, yeah. Anyways, there we go with uh, the Puente, the power to Puente using the Chave. In order to get the uh, Juggle into the Wall Break. Very nicely done by Kohide. Gonna get the positive bonus. And this should... Is it gonna be enough? I think not. Yeah, it's not, yeah. Yeah, there was hell of operation right there. Oh, Lord! And here we go with the Wake Up DP from Nekozi to, uh Using the Wild Assault to try to get some added... Uh, pressure, but unfortunately, Kohide used the um, Potemkin and just ended up winning three uh, consecutive matches in the process. So let's see if he manages to do the same thing this time around. We shall see. Uh, and here we go with the in and outs from Kohide. Ah, uh, yeah. Harassing Nicholas Yudo, man. Finding the opening. Here we go with the slide head. Ah, uh, yeah. Nicholas Yudo trying to read the. Yeah. Trying to read the uh, the rhythm of Kohide, but Kohide remaining very, very versatile. Trying not to get red, obviously. Oh, there we go, the hammerfall. Ah, Lord. Almost got the whiff punish right there. Things are looking pretty dire for Nikoji, not gonna lie. And here we go, the, ten, the double sending K into directly the uh, Ventania for the kill. First round goes to Kohide. Let's see how this spins out. And on to the next battle. We go to Crit. We're trying to catch them. Uh, jumping frames. Very nice backdash from Kohide. Trying not to get uh, scooped. <laughs> and unfortunately, unfortunately, getting scooped. Here we go to Slider Head. Kohide lost in his spot. He uses a raw Masante and gets the punish, by the way. It was sick. Here we go to Juggle. And Kohide, man, with the damage. Look at this. Ah, and here we go. With the hammer. Oh, ooh, gets the Bagdash using the Garuda Impact. Garuda Impact again. Here we go to reset of the Garuda. Goes for the 2k 2d. And this should be it with that Heat Knuckle for the kill. Good stuff from Ko uh, from Nikos, you do it, actually. Finally taking a round. Let's see how this spins out. Here we go to slide head. And it's Garuda Impact time. Ah, uh, Nikuji, you're trying to read that gold burst from from Kuri, the death line, I guarantee you. Here, with a slight head. Ooh, almost got the punish there. That would be sick. With a slider head. Again, man, Kohide on point with the bag dashes right there. Ah, uh, yeah, and unfortunately for Nikuji, the slider head cannot armor through more than one hit. A very nice grab right there from Nikuji. Finally managed to get Kohide to pop his burst. Nice. Anti-airs right there from Nikozito. Oh, and this is gonna be bad for him though. Is this gonna be no? Uh, and here we go, yeah. And this is death. Good stuff from Nick from Kohide actually takes the second match as well. And on to the next battle. Back to do the neutral, and unfortunately for Nico, she do his slider head actually uh, couldn't hit Kohide because Kohide was in aerial state using the Troval. This is very unfortunate for him. Very nice backdash from Kohide, not getting hit by the tro uh, by the, uh, the Garuda, making a whiff and then punishing it. That was very very nicely done. Yeah, Kohide finally popping the burst. Oh, and Nikos, you know, too quick to react right there. Gets scooped by the follow-up. Uh, oh, Lord. Ah, here we go to the Sante. Very nice awareness from Kohide. Gonna get the kill. Just like this, Kohide is on set point. Let's see if Nikos, you can manage to bring it back. We shall see. Again, with the whiff punishes, man. Kohide definitely on point with the whiff punishes. Woo, read the Potemkin Buster attempt right there from Nikos, you know. Ah, here we go, the slider head. And finally, oh, Kohide! Unfortunately, they didn't get hit by the uh, third hit, the 2HS from Nikojiro. And you are in loop land, man. Yeah, and this is there. Yeah, this is gonna be there. Good stuff from Kohide.
Sending Nico Gito and the loser's bracket and making his way. Only uh, recently starting to participate to the Tatakai Tuesday uh, offline tournament that uh, is hosted by Giuna and uh, also Mothman. And which uh, will happen tomorrow, by the way. Uh, there is one uh, planned tomorrow at... Do I have a, a freaking Tatakai Tuesday? I think I do, Tatakai. I'm pretty sure I do. I don't. Really? Uh, I thought I did, though. Okay, I don't. Anyways, uh, I encourage you to check them out. I'm pretty sure I had a, a command. That's like a Tuesday command, though. Just bring, let me check real quick. I'm 100% sure I had one. I didn't. What did I do? Let me check it real quick. Where is it? Module. Check me. Here we go. Alors, voyons voir. Ta ta ta. Oh, j'en ai. Oui, il sort pas. Qu'est-ce qui se passe dans l'espace Qu'est-ce qui sort pas Ok, let me do it again. It's not working. That's not good. That's not. I don't understand. Anyways, I'll just copy paste it. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, so there is one Tatakai Tuesday tomorrow. So I highly encourage you guys to check it out. It's a very fun offline tournament. I'm gonna be participating to it too. And uh, you have like very strong players participating to it. Cal participates to it regularly. Haruki. Uh, Ito also. Recently, that is. And uh, yeah, other very strong players. Sometimes you even have Leo. So a uh, Faust player. A uh, Japanese Faust player called Leo. Who also participate to it uh, well, sometimes sporadically, let's say, but still. So yeah, it's uh, definitely a very interesting tournament. I encourage you guys to check it out if you have some free time on your hands. That being said, let's uh, check the ongoing tournament that is taking place right in front of our eyes. It's the Rojo Cup, and as you can see, Eto managed to get the first round off of Mugi. Mugi is extremely strong, not going to play it. Let's see how this spins out. Very nice box right there for Mugi, not getting hit by the overhead, but he inevitably ended up getting opened. Eto using the wild assault in order to get that sweet, sweet hard knockdown. Oh lord! And here we go with ooh the Beyblade and Lord Mugi finding the opening, making it so that he was gonna go for the overhead follow-up, but instead went for the uh, low. Uh, Beyblade, very nicely done by Mugi, got the opening, oh lord, and here we go with the wall break, probably gonna use, no, doesn't use the burst, okay, that's cool, let's see how this spins out, oh lord, very nice confirms right there from Ito, gonna get the wall break, oh lord, back to the neutral, Mugi's got the knockdown, gets hit by the wake up DP though from Ito, Ito going straight, for the Sukiyaki mix up, so wow, Boogie not pressing a button after. Well, probably was fearing a Roman can. So, this is gonna be big! And it will force to pop the burst. Oh, goes for the fake overhead, and there we go with the mix up. Tried to read the burst attempt from Boogie. Oh, yeah, and this is, yeah, mix up time. One hit was enough. Good stuff from Mugi. Puts one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. One match apiece. Who is going to take it? We shall see. On to the next battle. And ooh, ah, Mugi going for the command grab. Gets a little bite out of it right now. Forcing it to swap the burst. Gets hit by the Beyblade though. Mugi using his own. Wow. Using his own burst to keep it in the corner successfully uh, opening him up in the next um in the next sequence and getting the kill here we go with ito trying to push me in the corner here we go with the freaking overhead and boogie having to guess Uh, nice sick pressure from Ito, gets the grab, goes straight for the overhead for the follow-up and the mix, and gets the kill. We are going on to the next round, the final round of this current match. Oh lord. Oh lord. Front Fukyo and Mugi with the DP startup. Ooh, drop the combo though. 
Goes for the forward, Fuji into the grab. And then we're going to take pressure. Ooh! And oh, this is death. Mogi straight into the Wasure Yuki for the kill. Successfully baiting that DP attempt from Ito. Back Fukyoing right when it comes out. And using this opportunity to seal the deal with the killing combo. Good stuff from uh, Mugi. Okay, let's see how this comes out. Ooh, Lord. Ito shy from pressing buttons right there. Gets command grabbed again. Twice in a row. Here we go. The grab man and Mugi man. Oh, again with the grab. The only damage that Mugi did during this whole round was only grabs and uh, and um, command grabs. That was sick. Mugi with the golden burst as well. Gets it open though. The Eto probably not happy of having lost the previous round like this. I think that was a safe jump. Ah, don't quote me. <laughs> Good stuff from Mugi. Noticing it wasn't a safe jump and yet the punish. Oh lord, goes for the 6 HP. Oh lord! Reading that. Oh no, this is sick! And here we go with uh, the cologne for the kill. Just like this movie. A, a glass of water, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry for the wait. And first round goes to Sweet Johnny. Very nicely done. Let's see how this spins up. Moran still um, no, looking pretty good. It's fine, it's fine. It's just the first round. Gets the freaking tech bait. For, hu for huge damage, gonna go straight into the Wild Assault for the guaranteed hard knockdown. And here we go with the tick pressure. Big direct like counter it. Right there, this did a ton of damage. This should be enough to kill. Straight into the Sacred Edge for the kill. Yo, kill cannon. Long time, let's see how you're doing. You good? And here we go for the uh, what's it called the final round of this current match. Let's see how this pans out. With Sweet Johnny, ooh, catching that bag dash man, gonna go straight into the wall break for the positive bonus. The hard knockdown though, you're good. That's good to hear. Very very nice to hear. So I hope that your soul, you you're keeping uh, training uh, with your soul, hopefully. And that being said, here we go with the tech. Ooh, and Maron getting that close S entire. That was sick. Oh, the big aerial missed finer. And here we go with Maron actually successfully sniping with Sujani out of the air. And look at all these blocks though, but Maron getting opened by the instant overhead right there. Um, Sujani, the instant, yeah. He missed Finer. Oh Lord! And the Sweet Johnny shouldn't be able to seal the deal right there. Very nicely done. Good stuff from Sweet Johnny. Gets the first match quite convincingly. It's definitely not completely one sided though. Uh, Maron definitely has opportunities to bring it back. There we go with Maron and the direct club. Big 6 spear right there. Gets the entire. Oh! Gets the first bait. This is gonna be huge for Maron. Let's see. Ah, oh, and the freaking chick right there from Musi Johnny to hit Maron out of his, uh, out of his, uh, I've read the name, the uh, Fudra Dark. Now, here we go with Maron. Tracing. Tries to get the cross up. And uh, Maron really wants that killing hit. Just one more hit should be enough. Big misfire right there from Musi Johnny. Ooh! And no one was home on the Hail Mary that from Musi Johnny, unfortunately for him. So let's see how this spins out. On to the next round. Big 2S counter hit. 
Brown Musijun should be able to get a wall break. Yes, he does. No, oh, and here we go the 4 HS counter. It's yeah, Musijuni in Dire Streets right there, right next to a card. But the card has disappeared. It doesn't matter. Musijuni straight into the what is my name. Boom! Good stuff from Musijuni. Goes for a safe jump. Ooh, and a big DP right there from around. Tried to go for a grab, but got tagged successfully by Sujani. And Sujani with the quick roaming cancel into the grab for the kill. On to the next battle again. Last round of the match. And yeah, both opponents just sinking to the air, trying to anti each other. Yeah, for now, Sujani does have the success rate when it comes to anti Maron trying to hit you see Johnny gets it by the 6 H or the Sin H counter hit. Ah nice jump in from Musi Johnny should be able to get a corner positioning, but Maron make ah, getting the bait right there on the ticket damp. Bait ooh direct cloud that was that was instant instant log though that was sick. Oh, and here we go to grab the tech. Ah, ah, ah. Get too far to get the follow up with the cards. And we'll see Johnny with the reactions. Grab. Oh, he's gonna get the juggle. Enough to kill, is it? He's gonna do a lot of damage. Not enough to kill, though. Let's see, here we go with the grab. Oh, the jump in. Oh lord, and you see Johnny, man, with the reaction overdrive to punish the stun edge right there. That was sick, good stuff. That was very nicely done. Okay, and on to the next battle. Let's see if Fusu Jenny can, uh, can seal the deal, or if Moron can bring a miraculous comeback. We shall see. Moron definitely no slouch. And Moron uh, deciding not to resort to using melee, though. Which might have been uh, one, one, you know, one answer to this current dilemma that he's facing. Ah, okay, nice for his counter hit. The boom, direct law, and this. Oh no, too far to get the wall. Well, but you know what? That was a nice reset, <laughs> so it's fine. Ah, uh, oh lord, and that six k man, so hard to see coming. Oh, here we go with the, the, not the juggle, but to see Johnny drops it. Ah, is not enough to kill, but Moron gets the kill. Good stuff. Yeah, that was a very, very nice, uh, a nice call out from Usijuni, knowing exactly that Moron was gonna hit the stun it right there and punishing him accordingly. Nice cross under right there from Moron. I'm Moron wanting that entire so much, <laughs> wanting that entire so much, and getting it finally with the close S counter hit. Should be able to. Ooh, okay, Moron using the uh, well assault to get that uh, hard knockdown. Probably wants to preserve some. Ah, I tried to go for the overhead. Yeah, uh, Moron trying to get that opening. Finally finds it to be able to get the kill. Yes, he will. Finally, Moron putting one on the board, saying, "No, I'm not going down without a fight." Good stuff from Moron. Let's see if he can keep it up. We shall see. We shall see. On to the next battle. Here we go the direct lock. Ooh, nice grab right there from Musujani. Gonna get the Miss Finer again with the grab. Okay, this time around finds the opening with the 2D. I tried to go for the grab, but this time around Maron was on point. Look at the damage, man. Nice. Nice damage. Meterless uh, combo right there, and that was pretty sweet damage. Not going to lie. Also, also got the corner uh, carry. Oh, no. And yes, the say, but he loves to pop that that uh, overdrive in dire situation. There we go with the misfinder. Yeah, Maron probably gonna keep his burst for the next round as he does and as he should. Good stuff from Maron. <laughs> Lord, the nerves on the Johnny just 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 freaking bash forward and grab, of course. Again with the cross under from Maron. This has been working a lot for him. Here we go, the stun edge. Oh lord. Ah, no, 6p this time around. Very nice read right there from Maron. 
deciding to backdash in order to punish the grab attempt from Usijon. Oh lord, no punish right there, but very hard to punish anyway. It's very good. Day. With the DP, very nice pacing from Marion. Not going to be able to kill. Not enough, but at least Moron has a guaranteed hard knockdown. So one more hit should be enough to ah to seal the deal, and it is. Okay, Moron still not out of this yet. He definitely needs this round right there if he wants to stay alive. Let's see. Ah, Moron with the cross down, the cross under man. Definitely been working for him. Oh, gets the tick attempt from Usi Johnny. Good lord. <laughs> and Moron catching Usi Booty, uh, Usi Johnny on his uh, on his landing frames right there, opening him up effectively. Uh, Moron getting the grab for the kill. Moron, man, with the tie, put brings it back. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen, two to two. What is Usi Johnny gonna do? The momentum has completely shifted in favor of Moron. Let's see if Usi Johnny is capable of getting some momentum back. See Johnny with the grab. Goes for the card game again. And this finer indeed. Again with the grab, man. And Moron refusing to take it. Ah, oh, this time around using the 2D, getting the counter hit and, uh, and uh, converting, actually confirming into the, the overdrive. We go with ah, the jumping is catching the backdash as well with a perfect Big statement from Usui Johnny. Definitely has some momentum back this time around. Oh lord, what was that? The double cross on the right there from Usui Johnny. Oh, Maron getting the crib jump and catches the back dash with the far S. This is gonna do a lot, a pretty nice amount of damage. Maron using the wild assault to guarantee a hard knockdown. Goes for the jump in, trying to go for the grab, but yeah, Usui Johnny, man, with the reaction, man. Reaction grab. Oh, what was that? That was definitely a uh, execution error. Lord. And yeah, Maron trying to find the opening, finds it. I don't think Uzu Booty is gonna. Yeah. And rightfully so. We are going down to the last round of the last match. Two matches a piece. Going down to the final round. Let's see how this pans out. This was a very nice match. I'm going to lie. Ooh! Ah, uh, big stun dipper right there gets punished by the 6 HS. Oh, we go with that. Ah, uh, with the jump in. Unfortunately, Maron was a little bit too late for that. Ah, uh, big confirm right there from Usui Johnny straight into the overdrive. Good stuff from Usui Johnny. Ah, uh, Maron using his reflex shell in order to. Put some distance between him and his opponent. Usi Johnny harassing his opponent with cards. Oh, and Maron tried to go for the cross under, but got off by the landing attack of Usi Johnny. Not enough to kill though. Uh, one hit, one hit is all that is required right now. Tries to go for the stun. Oh, wow! And the quick Roman cancel into the aerial attack to punish the 6p attempt. Again right at the start of his sit. So let's see how this pans out. And here we go. This is the third match of the loser's bracket. Let's see how this is going to unfold anyways. Uh, one of them is going to go home. And just to tell you, like both are extremely strong. It's quite shocking to see them in the loser's bracket. That means that there are a hell of a lot of very good players in the rest of the tournament. And here we go with the jump in by Mugi. Gets hit by the Mega Fizzle. Oh lord, again, Nikojito with the bag Mega Fizz and finds his hit, by the way. Oh lord, and the reaction DP, the reaction reversal from Mugi to punish the Hammerfall. Good stuff from Mugi. He's gonna get the corner positioning. Oh lord, and Nikojito. Baiting, baiting the, 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 what's called the, um, the wild assault from the and from Mugen, this should be enough. Nico Zero with the max punish right there. Used everything in his, everything at his disposal to make sure that he would take the, the round from Mugen. 
And here we go with the wall break. Moogie content to just... Yeah. Oh, Lord. Content to just zone right now. Go straight into the Wasuryuki. Gonna get the horn knocked out. Wasuryuki! What is gonna be the answer? Oh, Lord. And Moogie with the delayed close S. Catching the recovery frames of the uh, Roman cancel attempt of... Uh, of... Um, of Nikojiro after his uh, Heavenly Pot Buster in order to try to get out of pressure. And here we go with that. Uh, the tick pressure right there from Mugi gets the Tampa Tank attempt and gonna get the wall break with the hard knockdown. Catches the bag that's with the standing S. Finally, Nikojiro forced to, forced to pop the burst. Not Nikojiro with the slider head. And Nikojiro content to just block. Finally gets opened up with the close as good. And the first match goes to Mui. Takes the lead 1 to 0. What is Nikojiro gonna do? We shall see. We shall see. Wow, start of the round with the Wild Assault. And Mugi, man. Again, using Wild Assault to secure a hard knockdown. Definitely not underestimating Nikojiro. Using every resources in the book to pin Nikojiro down and force him into a defensive state not giving him a single up ah finally Nikojiro out of arm's way yeah it's the closest counter hit this is gonna do a lot of damage straight into the reflect the reflector oh goes for the tap dust Roman cancel and they should do Nikojiro immediately taking the first match uh, the first round of the second match let's see how this spins out and Moogie with the closest juggle should be able to get the wall break. He does. Wow. The whiff punishes from Nikojiro. He's been out of his mind. Uh, but then again, look at that. Moogie, man. Punishing the... Uh... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, here we go with the Guru that impacts straight into the pot buster and this should be enough to kill. Yeah, Nikojiro man, Nikojiro with the surprise pot buster gets the second match. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. One round, one match is a piece. Let's see how this spins out. The slider head. Oh and Moogie. Very patiently trying to open Nikojiro up. Trying to prevent Nikojiro from. Oh lord! And the punish right there from the slider head using the uh, the little hop momentum that the Beyblade uh, gives its user in order to go over the uh, slider head attempt from Nikojiro. And all the while punishing him as well. Two birds, one stone, as we say. Good stuff from Moogie gets the first round of this third match. This time around the slider head finds its finds its mark, hits its mark. Again with the Garuda impact. Moogie trying to get out of harm's way. Gets it by the Garuda impact once again. Garuda impact! Wow, and here we go, man. Ooh, what the hell happened? I think Nikojiro tried to do something else. It was definitely an execution error. Oh, uh, and Moogie Man cannot do anything but vlog for the past freaking five minutes. That's crazy. Death by Garuda Impact, man. And Nikojiro doing one more for good measure. Oh, Lord. Yeah, Moogie not happy right now. Let's see how this spins out. Nice grab right there from Nikojiro. And again, the Garuda Impact, man. Good Lord. Uh, finally, Nikojiro out. Uh, Mugi out, but finds the way in right away. Right again. Back to the neutral. Okay, Mugi getting that close. Uh, getting the command grab. Uh, this did a hell of a lot of damage. 
And Moogie using the burst. Well, not the burst. Oh, Lord, that was sick. And this is death. No, it's not. Oh, we should have gotten the grab. Good stuff from Nicholas. He takes the second match as well. Two to one. What is Moogie going to do? Is Nicholas going to send him home? We shall see. The big slider head right there. Ah, oh, Moogie finding the opening. Goes for the closest into the grab. Oh, Lord, these instant blocks, though. Dick. Oh, again, Nikoji this time around in the corner using the momentum of the, uh, the hammer fall into the uh, sliding Roman cancel into the grab, the command grab. The potem can bust her. Ah, oh, and jab for the kill. Moogie, man. Moogie, definitely not out of this yet. This needs one more match in order to, uh, to make it even, Steven. And here we go with the Garuda Impact. Hell, you hate to see it. Ah, finally. Oh, Lord. And Nikojito was waiting for that. Nikojito waiting for this. Uh, Mugi trying to bait something right there. Oh, Lord. And the jump it for the kill. Okay, set point. Let's see if Mugi can bring it back. We shall see. We go to 4K. Uh, Mugi investing a lot into blood right there. Uh, getting hit by the sliding head. Uh, Mugi almost had the jump in, but the angle was pretty. It was pretty treacherous. Wow! Again with the Roman cancel off of the armored slider head into the Potemkin Buster. It's definitely been working in. Uh, in Nikojidu's way, but look at this, Mugi not, not out of this yet, goes straight into the overhead, is the overdrive, is this gonna kill? Pot has a lot of health, there. Yeah, it should kill, he's gonna kill, he's gonna kill. Well played, Mugi. Puts another one on the board, we are going down to the last match, ladies and gentlemen, this is only a loser's bracket match, which is very, very, very surprising. Anyways, let's see how this pans out. Ah, Lord. Go with the big burst. Thankfully, Nikoji didn't punish him with a command grab. This time around, he does. Wow, look at the damage. Look. Big mega fist right there from Nikoji. Wow, and Mugi reacts, Beyblading right over the mega fist. Uh, right, right over the uh, slider head. And the wake up overdrive should be enough. Yes, it is. Mugi definitely wanting that first round. If he does, it's gonna make things infinitely easier. The big, the big. Oh, that was so sick. And on to the next match. Oh lord! And again, man, with the heavenly pot buster. Uh, startup invincibility frame. Nikoji Roman cancel out of it in order not to get hit by Mugi's Okizeme, and then pod busted his ass into oblivion. <laughs> Oh lord, yeah, I think he's feeling himself today. This is bad. This is really bad for Mugi. Here we go to jump in. Ah, uh, but too far to get anything off. Again, man, with the heavenly pod buster canceled into. Ah, uh, wait. Ooh, nice box for Mugi. Oh, that back dash no from Mugi gets the knockdown. Ah, uh, and Mugi going for the Beyblade. It's definitely not over. Don't count him out. Not over, not over till it's over. Big 6H, not enough to kill though. Not enough to kill. And enough to kill. And Nikos, you know, this is the last run of the last match. Who's gonna take it? We shall see. Nice. Fight right there from Mugi, taking the lead and the corner positioning as well. But Nikos, you know, blocking very, very nicely. We got the concerts. Uh, almost got the jump in. Ah, uh, Moogie getting the jump in now. Again with the Beyblade using the aerial momentum of the Beyblade not to get hit by the slider head. Boom! Oh no, too. Oh, big 6P, and this should not be enough. Ooh! 
Oh, don't discount the Koji out. He just needs one hit. Just needs one hit. And the Beyblade for the kill. That was really unfortunate. I really thought the Koji was going to bring it back. Okie dokie, Bridge and Cookie. Alright, once again, guys. Okay, we're good to go. And here we go, Sujani, already forcing Scout to pop the burst. Wow, getting the far. The forest counter hit right away, Suburi. You see, Johnny. Oh, nice cross up from Scout. Goes for an empty low. Again, we are almost in the corner. You see, Johnny is definitely aiming for this. Still not trying to go for the take grab right there, couldn't quite get it. You see, booty, you see Johnny content to just just bag that for now. That being said, here we go with the corner positioning. Ooh, that was a big, 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 big hit. You see Johnny straight into the overdrive for the kill. Gets the kill, and on to the next battle. And here we go with the start of the round. Nice jump in from the sweet Johnny, gonna get the knockdown and the pressure. Missed time this meaty though, or his grab, then got grabbed it himself. Oh, and here we go. Oh, still I couldn't quite get the follow up because the Kabari was over already. And here we go with. Yeah. Oh, nice to your chest to catch the back dash though. Yeah, still trying to go air to air against him, against Susu Johnny, but not that easy. Nice jump in. Oh, stay out with the Yo's on Sam. Try to go for an aerial grab though. And this see Johnny with the juggle should be able to get the knockdown. Yes, will. We go with the jump in. Is that gonna be enough? It's not gonna be enough. Oh, and uh, stay out with the confirm. This should do. This stuff still takes the first match of this. Oh, uh, actually not. I'm sorry. It's the second round. I'm so sorry. Get on to the next battle. Let's see if Usujani can bring it back or if still up. Going to seal the deal. The momentum is very volatile. So that I can't really tell who has the advantage. Um, no punishes right there from Usujani, unfortunately. Here with the Kabari, nice block on the Yozone Sam. Ooh, gets the 6 feet, oh sick! And still that man dropping their combos! And again, the double Yozone Sam finds its mark! That being said, the Johnny with the air twirl. Also got the counter hit and the juggle. Forcing Scout to pop the burst. Johnny with the freaking juggle! But too far from the corner, couldn't quite get the wall spot, but gets it right now. Oh lord! Oh no! That was sick! That was sick good stuff from Stella getting the freaking juggle off of their their um their gun, their gun explosion. That was sick. Good stuff from Stella. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, uh, nice clash right there from Stella. Gets the added punish or the, the the added pressure i'd say we go the jump in and here we go the kabari it's not getting the corner positioning boom straight oh lord that juggle though how many times can you juggle somebody Ah, uh, big, big, big overdrive right there from Luisa Johnny. Kaboom! So Johnny gonna get the yeah. Ah, uh, so Johnny getting the four HS counter hit, and this should be enough to seal the deal. Not going down without the fight. And here we go with the juggle. See Johnny should oh almost got the corner carry combo though. Yeah, see Johnny trying to predict where Stella was going on the screen. 
but purposely put a card in right in the middle, but yeah, activated it a little bit too early and that made it so that Stella had pre range to get in. That being said, here we go with the wake up overdrive from Stella saying I've had it. Nice air to over there from Sujani. Content to just zone with the miss finer. But getting clip getting clipped by Oh Lord, nice blocks. I think he's gonna get hit spin up. Oh or not! No! If all every hit had hit, Stella would have won. This is so unfortunate. If every single hit hit from that that uh that overdrive, it would have uh I think it would have killed. That is so unfortunate from Stella, you hate to see it. Onto the next battle. Very nice 6k right there from Sui Johnny. Gonna get the wall break. Oh, then here we go with. Ooh! Ah. Uh, nice staircase combo from Stella. But. Here we go with the juggle and Sui Johnny. Content to just get the knockdown. Not going for the wall break, and here we go with the Roman cancel, the very, very, very surprising one. Now on to the second, nah, the second round. No oh, big sending HS right there from Usujani, gonna get the juggle. Almost got the juggle. Big trade right there. Yeah, Johnny has mad range, man. The miss finder is pretty crazy. Here we go, the grab from... Oh, no, the miss time grab from Stella and getting punished accordingly. I think he didn't do anything. Yeah, straight into the overdraft. For the kill! Push that. Suriga Urunumawa. Good stuff from Uguisi Johnny gets the third match as well. Let's see if he can seal the deal or not. We shall see. Still, uh, maybe wondering whether or not they should play May. I don't know. Now oh, we'll see. We'll see. And on to the next battle. Here we go to jump in. Johnny is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. He seems interesting to play too. I like the uh, the card system personally. I really like it. So yeah, I uh, I agree with you. <laughs> And here we go with, ooh, the air to air using the cannon rather from Stella, but usually Johnny already aware of it. <gasps> Went for the fake cross up and found the opening. That was sick. Back to the neutral. Nice use of the two HS right there from Stella. Maybe onto something? That was pretty nasty. Yeah, the fake cross up, right? Using the Miss Finer and uh, his. Uh, I'll call it the the aerial somersault, or whatever. Yeah, that was pretty sick. That was like if you can if you can block this, you're gone. Or it, like you didn't intend to block it at first. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Anyways, it's it's fine. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's really it was a crazy setup. Anyways, here we go on to the next uh, battle. This is a set point, by the way. If Stella loses this one, it is a bye bye, and Usui uh, Johnny will be uh, continuing until the next battle. Here we go, Stella forced to pop the bird. And here we go with Usui Johnny with the overdrive for the kill. Takes it a clean. It's gonna be none other than Hagiata versus Kohide. Let's see how this pans out. So this is the winner's final. The one who wins this uh, match is going to make his way to the grand final. So making things uh, a lot easier for them to win the tournament, if I might say. Needing, requiring only win one set uh, opposed to two. So, yeah. And here we go on to the start of the battle. I think I'm gonna go get another glass of water. This guy, I'm, I'll be right back. Yeah. 
ますね Okay, and here we go with Hagia actually taking the first round. Very nicely done. But Kohide answering in due form and catching the back uh, dash of uh, Hagia with the Trovao. Again okay, on with the next battle. Hagia making good use of the guard point right there. Forcing his game upon onto Kohide. Very nicely done. Ah, uh, Kohide getting hit by the... Oh lord, and you hate to see it straight into the Elysian Driver for the hard knockdown. Okay, Kohide in dire straits. Oh lord, fighting the overhead, the, the, the opening with the uh, the aerial overdrive. Very nicely done. Ah, here we go, Kohide with the grab. Ah, uh, no entire right there, and this is going to... Yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, and Kohide finding the opening with the standing K straight into the uh, the Roman cancel. Kohide takes the first match. Very nicely done. It could have gone really either way, though. Uh, so, yeah, Kohide definitely needing to be careful right there. This is not going to be an easy fight. It's not one that he particularly likes either, in my opinion, but we shall see. And here we go with the juggle. I get a force in Kohide to pop the burst. Oh lord, the 2D going under the uh, the standing HK of uh, HS of uh, of uh, Hagiara. That was pretty interesting to see. Hagiara finally first pop the burst, hitting Kohide out of the startup of their Trovao and getting a pretty nice carry pressure right there. Corner carry pressure. Okay, nice awareness of Kohide not to pop anything. Fearing, fearing of getting uh, six feet. Boom! Nice check right there from Kohide. Almost got the juggle. No one on the Traval. But Kohide getting hit by the standing uh, S, I do believe it was. Nice confirm right there from Kohide. Gets the juggle. Almost got the, the Nasante, but. Still fine, he's got the second Nasante. And here we go with the grab. Yeah. Hagiara trying to get Kohide off of out of his hair using the reflect shield, but yeah. Uh, the dash of Giovanna makes it extremely hard for characters to like force her off of them. It's like literally, it's very, very hard. Here we go with your bar from Hagiara. I'll be right back, guys. Sorry, I had a delivery. <laughs> I had a delivery, but I did see that Kohide was the one to take it, so it's fine, it's fine. So, Kohide taking the lead 2 to 0 right now. Hagiara in pretty dire streak needs to win three matches in a row in order to make their way directly into the, uh, what's it called, the, the Grand Finals. <laughs> but Kohide looking very, very, very crisp right now, I'm not going to lie. Look at this, man. Look at the damage. Just one hit away from getting, making themselves to the set point. Nice bar from Hagiara. Getting hit, though, by the wake up overdrive from Kohide. Very nicely done. Uh, nice choice from Kohide on 
set point. What is he? What is Hagiara gonna do? We shall see. And here we go with uh, the oh lord, the aerial, aerial overdraft from Kohide. One hit away from making their way to the grand final. Oh lord. That backdash oh when here, here we go with the kill. With the Sepultura, good stuff from Kohida. Takes it a clean three. Oh, let's see how this pans out. Okay, both very, very strong. I'd say that Mugi does have a little bit of the upper hand, knowing that he has uh, the character um, history with uh with Naguri. He's been playing Naguri ever since he's been out. Whereas Usui Johnny has uh, well is currently playing the uh, latest uh, character available in the Guilty Gear Strive roster. So I'd say that uh, Mugi probably has the experience currently. Uh, but it's definitely not... Uh, well, Usui Johnny is definitely no, not somebody who wants this this, this uh, discount. Uh, that easily is very, very strong. So we'll see how this pans out. I have no idea how the matchup goes either. I personally say it's in... in um, I can definitely be in, in favor of Johnny though. This is definitely not surprising if it's the case. Anybody that outreaches uh, Mugi, uh, oh, Mugi, Nagori Yuki, is probably a big threat for 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 the character. But then again, I can see uh, Johnny really, really, really suffering when being cornered by uh, by by Nagori Yuki. That being said, first round goes clean to Usui Johnny. Let's see if Mugi can bring some sort of adjustment to try to bring it back. We shall see. Zoner character wall. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how I characterize him. It's hard to zone with him though, I feel. With Johnny. He does have a bigger reach. Oh no, that was unfortunate for Usi Johnny. You didn't want to do this, didn't you? Uh, look at the damage though. Yeah. But then again, one more hit and. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, Lord. Yeah, this is looking pretty bad. Oh, but the spacing from Mugi, though. Oh, too far to get. Oh. Oh, no. And Mugi bringing it back. That was sick, man. Always on the verge of just getting hit and killed. But Mugi bringing it back. That was sick. Yeah, the range on those air normal is pretty big as well. It is, it is. I don't know if I would call them call him a zoner though. The hmm, I don't know. I'll leave somebody with uh, who's more educated than me than uh, to 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 commentate on on that particular uh, declaration. I'd say. Well, yeah, I guess you can zone to some extent, but I wouldn't really call him zoner. But he does have range. Yeah, that that is definitely the case. So yeah, anybody who outranges uh. Outranges Nagoriyuki can definitely like be problematic for Nagoriyuki, in my opinion. It all depends on uh, the recovery of each of of each character's moves, but for now, for now, man, Mugi looking pretty great. Not going to lie. Yeah, Mugi with his eyes on the prize. And on to the next battle. <laughs> this front dash straight into the grab attempt that was pretty crazy. The cojones on this man. Can you read with the jump in? Let's see, Johnny with the misfinder gets the grab. Oh yeah, definitely set play. Yeah. I feel like set play is pretty is a, is a nice uh, is a more fitting description of the character. He definitely needs to set the shit out of you to to play the shit out of you. <laughs> he definitely needs to have a good set play in order to really start his mixes and and just open you up and and start his game. Yeah. You're not like start right away, you know, unlike other characters. So yeah, I'd set play. I, I definitely call him a set play character rather than a zoner. I don't think the zoning is is the the forte of, of this character at all. You see, even you can punish the recovery of of, of the. Um, you can block his. Some characters can block his misfinder and punish the recovery right off the bat. So at that particular instance, it just means that the character is not meant to is not meant to zone, in my opinion. But yeah, set play is definitely good. I, I feel like he's more of a set play character. 
It's one he has like his uh, his cards on deck. <laughs> no no puns intended, by the way. That uh that his his game actually starts. That being said, here we go on to the next battle. And ooh, Mugi getting hit by the YRC right there. That was strange, but still gets the grab for the kill. And Mugi with the another match on board. Sorry, that was actually yeah. Mugi with another match on board. Wow, finds the opening with the 2S right off the bat. Very nice grab right there from Mugi. Trying to find the opening. Yeah, you can see yeah, Mugi's in trance right now. Yeah, yeah, Mugi's in trance, I can tell. He's he's he unleashed the beast mode right now. Yeah, he's he's in he's in beast mode. Yeah, I don't it's gonna be hard to 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 defeat him now. Oh lord. And just as I say this, I am cursing him. <laughs> Commentator's curse. Ah, yeah. And Mugi trying to find a way to... Ooh! Plain old Beyblade for the kill. Good stuff from uh, Mugi on set point. Is he going to be able to get it? Why is Johnny throw so slow? Well, I have no idea. He needs to talk to you every time he throws you. That's why. <laughs> it's a necessity for him. Do you know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> that being said, look at this. Yeah, let's see. Johnny trying to bring it back. Unfortunately, man. Ah, uh, getting pummeled right now. Very nice backdash into the sending. <laughs> you see, he needs to talk to you all the time. Yeah, full conversation, bro. Uh, let me talk to you. Ah, and here we go with the, uh, the tap dust for the kill. Okay, we'll see Johnny staying alive. Let's see if he can keep it up. We shall see. On to the next battle. Ooh, Lord. A uh, nice jump in right there from Musi Johnny. Gonna get the set play, but Mugi waking up with the gold burst again, getting hit by the 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 back dash into the standing HS uh, HS of uh of Musi Johnny. It's been oh Lord, yeah, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Yo, straight into the what's my name? Johnny! The boom! <laughs> the explosive J. Oh lord, uh, Johnny tried to bait that grab attempt right there from Mugi. Had the, uh, well, he did have the correct uh, read, but Mugi did have like Roman cancel to try to to make his uh, his grab attempt. Oh, safe. Oh lord. Oh, and here we go, Mugi. On for just one more hit for the kill. Gold burst. Oh lord. Almost got the punish though. That would have been sick. Nah, uh, uh. No entire, and I feel like ah uh, yeah this oh not enough to kill oh and the grab and just like this boogie you're gonna get the kill. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Good stuff from Moogie. Takes it off. Good stuff from uh, from from Moogie. So let's see if he what he can do against Hagera though. Hagera has been one of his um one of his uh one of his demons though recently. He hasn't been able to uh, win against Hagera very often. So let's see if he's able to change the uh, the trend and uh, perhaps win against them this time around to make uh, this is looking pretty bad though yeah uh, the blood is piling up the nice stuff from Hagera <laughs> I tried to get the 2k right there Arigato de mas tamo okay let's see how this fans out oh lord Hagera uh, getting hit by the Beyblade one more hit and Ah, that being said, Mugi did get hit right now. See how this spins out. Ooh, and here we go with the take attempt. And ooh, saved by the burst. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, Mugi not pressing the take button this time around. Very nicely done. Ah, too far to get uh, the hidden. Nice. Uh, oh, gets hit by the... Oh no, the playoff kick. You hate to see him. This is enough for the kill. We'll catch, we'll catch the rest of the VOD. Yeah, sure. We gotta get some. Yeah, no problem, man. No problem. <laughs> nah, have a good night, bro. See you in the next time. No problem. Thanks for hanging out. Much appreciated, man. Very nice use of the guard point right there from Hagara to punish the uh, Beyblade attempt. And Hagara looking pretty good in the corner right now. Trying to bait some sort of reaction right now from... Moogie goes for the tap dust for the opening, straight into the illusion driver for the kill. Not the kill though. For the hard knockdown. Good stuff from Moogie. Uh, from Hagela. 
And here we go straight into the overdrive. And unfortunately for Moogie, I get out did. Ah. Look. Nice command grab right there from Moogie. Not. Yeah, not out of this yet. Nice blocks from Hagera though. Oh, Moogie getting the standing H. Yes. Ah, on the verge of exploding though. Moogie cannot use anything right now unless he wants to explode though. Ah, damn it. Ah, uh, one Fukio. Oh, Moogie getting the command grab. Okay, one more hit. Oh, nice grab from Aigara. And just like this, Aigara takes the first match. Very nicely done. Let's see if Moogie can even the odds and put one on the board as well. We shall see. Ah, uh, too far for... The minion and three minions already on deck. This is gonna be pretty bad. Ah, the double Fuki, but too far to get the grab though. Nice Sabari right there from Hagiara. Finding the opening, finding the knockdown as well. Ah. Nice pressure from Hagiara straight into the Illusion Driver for the hard knockdown. Driver! Good stuff from uh, Hagiara again, just one hit away from getting the kill, and gets the kill. Good stuff from Hagiara, on to the next battle. Okay, Hagiara checking them Fukio's attempt with the 2k. And it's back to the zoning game, the one that everybody loves. Again, Hagiara using the guard point to punish the- oh man. The offensive attempt from the opponent. Nice command right there from Mugi. Oh, almost got the jump in though. This is unfortunate. Oh, Lord. Ah, Mugi getting the standing S, but too far for it. To get the juggle. Ah, this should be it. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, not enough to kill. You hate to see it. Mugi not using his burst, but gets the kill with the 2S though. Okay, saved by the bell. Okay, Mugi needs this one if he wants to even the odds and get one match apiece. Big hit right there with the DP. Start up with the first hit of the DP. And get the grab. Oh lord! Again, Moogie hitting them minions, man. Ooh, the double Fukio, not enough to kill though. Ah, brave dash forward from Hagiara finds the opening with the 2k 2d. Oh lord, he even gets the fully charged dust. This is gonna do a lot of damage, eh? Oh lord, Hagiara with the double tap dust and gets the kill. Good stuff from Hagera. Puts another one on the board. Is Hagera gonna get his chance? Get another shot at the current grand uh, final participant, Kohide? Or is Mugi gonna make the biggest comeback of his life? We shall see. There we go, yeah. Ah, Lord. Mugi definitely. Struggling to get in right now, get scooped by the 2k2d. Unfortunately, Hagiara didn't time his midi very good this time around and was grabbed by Mugi. Ah, this is not looking good. And here we go with the jump in. Oof, big 6p right there from Hagiara. Should be able to get the kill. Yes, he does. And we are 1 1. Match away from the grand final. One round away, for possibly. Let's see how this turns out. And here we go with 
Ah, Moogie using the Wild Assault to catch that bag dash, man. This is gonna do a lot of damage. But this is a set point though. Moogie needs two rounds in a row if she wants to stay in the tournament. Oh, try to get the grab, but man. Hagera being so filmsy, so hard to reach. Uh, big Beyblade into the 6 HS for the kill. Good stuff from Moogie staying alive. Again, the Beyblade to catch the back dash attempt. And it's pain timer. And oh, try to get that command grab low. Uh, Hagera with the fortunate corner position. Gonna get the forever illusion driver for the hard knockdown. Lord. Oh Lord, how I get him man. With the air grab. He's got the corner positioning. Oh, he's got the punish on the burst. And this should be enough to kill. I get him man. With the three over. Time, let's see how this unfolds. Kokide versus Ayana. Itemasu! Let's go! Okie dokie, Breads and Cookie Koki. They was the one to send Hagara in the loser's bracket. So, definitely no slouch when it comes to the um, to the Jackal matchup. Let's see how this pans out though. Okay, Hagara getting the hit with the standing H H uh, HS. Very nice use of the minions right there to catch the back dash of Kokide. I gotta try to read to read the uh, the burst timing of Kohide. Oh, big stuff right there from Kohide trying to beat the burst. And here we go. Very nice use of the guard point right there from Kohide from from Hagara. Nice air turret right there from Hagara. Oh, and ooh, fortunately for Hagara, it was a good trade for him. Ah, but yeah, this is... Oh no, too far to get anything off of it. Very nice use of the standing H. Yes, and enough to kill with the with the juggle right there. Good stuff from Hagara. And on to the next battle. We'll the cross up. Hagara with the juggle. Oh, nice grab right there from Kohide. Expecting Hagara not to press any button on his way down. With the Abare of Hagara. Ooh, getting grabbed this time around. Oof. Nice back dash right there from Hagara. Not getting grabbed by Kohide. Ooh, and that jump out though from Hagara was sick. Oh, catches the back dash with the 2D. And this should be enough to kill. Good stuff from Hagara. Puts one on the board. 1, 2, 0. Are we going to see a bracket reset? That would be pretty funny. Let's see how this spins out. And on to the next battle. Nice checks right there from Hagara. Or single did to pop the burst. Uh, nice with punish from Hagara. Oh, gets the hit. I go straight into the tab dusk. Uh, Roman cancel into the wall break using the uh, wild assault to secure a hard knockdown again with the hard knockdown the the wild assault in order to put one uh, one minion on the board and oh no couldn't quite get the drug although this is so unfortunate nice grab from Kohide and I got a reading the grab attempt from Kohide and punishing accordingly. Nice stick right there from Hagara. Still gets open though. Again with the grab from Kohide. Goes for the midi puente. Uh, the midi trabao. Oh, big standing HS counter hit. Nice juggle. Uh, trying to beat that YRC for sure. Nice air grab from Hagara. Serious. Wary of the uh, overdrive though, but using his very own to get the wall break. Not nearly enough to kill though. Well, he did looking a little bit lost, not going to lie. 
Nice a bar from Kohita gets the grab. Goes for the Puente. Gonna get the corner carry. Ah, and I'm neat. Uh oh. Oh, and gets the punish. That was sick. Good stuff from Hagara, man. Takes the second match as well. Yo, 2 to 0, taking the lead. Well, not the. Not. Yeah. Just one more. One more. One more match for Hagara, and we'll have a reset. Can Hagera actually do it this time around? We shall see. Here we go with the wall break. Oh, and here we go with the jump in from Hagera and the OTG. Yeah, you can see Kohide a little bit wary. Goes for the grab. Gets a clean jump in. Oh, that Nasante though. Okay, Kohide taking one, one round. Let's see how this spins out. No entire. Oh, actually, uh, favorable trade for Hagyara. Gives the punish on the standing S attempt. Oh, nice grab right there from Kohide. Again with the grab. Goes for the two S. Finds the opening. Oh, and goes for a regular wall break. Oh, almost got the confirmed though. And finally, Kohide waking up a little bit right there. Puts one on the board. Needs two more in a row in order to seal the deal and win today's Brojo Cup. Can Hakuman actually do it? Hakuman. <laughs> yes, Hakuman. Can Kohide actually do it? If Hakuman <laughs> watches the video, the VOD, and actually. Sees the per this particular part of the VOD, it's gonna be pretty funny. I'm gonna ask him about it. Anyway, there we go with the jump in from Hagera. Gets the OTG. And yeah, Hagera trying to find the opening, man, but Kohide remaining very film C does not want to get pinned down. Goes straight into the overdrive. The Ventania for added pressure and damage and overall positioning. And goes for the Puente for the kill. Kohide definitely waking up this time around. Not letting Hagara dictate the pace of the uh, of the well of the, the of the match. We go with the oh the meaty Trovao, uh, not Trovao. Oh lord, this is big, big damage right there for Kohide. Just for the two S. Ah, uh, try to go for the oh lord for the wild assault. Okay, nice bar from Kohide. Ooh, but still gets to open up though. I get a resorting to using the Wild Assault to get a hard knockdown. Ooh, and that air grab though. Oh, Lord. Oh, and no. I get a dying from chip damage. This is so unfortunate for them. Let's see how this pans out. We are heading on to potentially the final match of this. Uh, of this of this set, so let's see how this spins up. Nice grab from Hagala. Oh, forces. <gasps> wow, the double golden burst right there. But yeah, Kohide knew that Hagala was gonna wake up with it, and therefore let him wake up and punish him accordingly. Let's see how this spins out. Yeah, nice stuff from Hagala. Gets the knockdown, and the corner positioning goes for the grab. Oh lord! Yeah, you can see. I gotta really, really try his best to. Oh no, get scooped by the the far S from Kohide. Ah, uh, look at the damage and the grab. We are on tournament point for Kohide. If Kohide wins this one, he wins the tournament. Whereas Hagara needs to win two rounds in a row if he wants to uh, have a chance of resigning the bracket and then. Wow! Big, 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 <laughs> raw, fully charged. That was pretty crazy. Good stuff. And on. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Kids to confirm and Hagara staying alive. Okay, let's see. So it's either tournament point or reset point. It's both, actually. So let's see how this spins out. Can go either ways. Oh, nice grab right there from Hagara. Goes for the fake cross up. 
And here you go, you are in the corner. The nice of bar though from Kohide, man, but get six speed at the absolute worst possible moment. The double wild rush. Wild is solemn, sorry. From oh and Hayata manages to reset the bracket. Three to two. That went down to the wire. Is Hayata gonna make it? That would be sweet. First time that he'd win the uh, the Rojo Cup if that's the case, which would be pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Let's see how this turns out. This is the grand final reset. I get I have successfully managed to send Fujita in the loser's bracket. Is he gonna be able to do it? We shall see. Wow, and look at the combo though from Kohide, man. That was sick. Did not a hard knockdown though. Oh lord. Nice jump in right there from Hagiala. Oh, nice, got the air grab. Wary. Ugh, definitely wary of. Oh lord. Ah, this is big. Now nah, this is death actually. Yeah, bye bye. Good stuff from Kohide. And on to the next battle. Ah, Kohide de de getting that juggle. Goes for the 2S. Ooh, gets a trade, but forces Hagata to pop the burst. Oof. Ah. And here we go with the jump in. Hagata trying to yeah, get his turn back, but it's actually pretty hard. Ah, 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 ah. Kohide with the kill. Yeah, this is gonna kill. Yeah, good stuff from Kohide. He's the first match of this reset, of this bracket reset. Oh, no, let's see how this spins out. Oh, Kohide failing to get the whiff punish right there, but still forcing Agila to pop the burst. Oh, the big close S counter hit, though. Nice grab from Kohide. Goes for the meaty uh, throw out. Straight into the Ventania. Ah, things are looking pretty bleak for Hagata, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, I got him with the ooh, the double of bar and working for them in the end. Ah, tries to go for the grab. Ooh. Ah. Oh Lord! Wow, that was sick. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, I get out. He's running to go for a normal wall break. Oh lord. Ah, yeah. yeah, I get out really doing his best to try to keep Kohide out, but it is not an easy feat, not going to lie. Oh lord! Oh, again, here we go with. Oh! With the corner pressure. But yeah, Kohide finding the way out with the Nabari right there. Ooh, very nice grab on the pointy attempt. And here we go with Koide with the wake up overdrive. This did a ton of damage. Ooh, big 2D counter hit right there from Hagela straight into the, his very own overdrive for the kill. Still one more round for Hagela to try to even the score. He definitely needs this one. That being said, the momentum is pretty much in favor of Kohide right now. Ooh, okay, here we go. We go with the knockdown. I got trying to get. Oh, the grab, but too far for it. Ah, and here we go with the wild assault combo from Kohide. Ooh. I got with the 2D catching Kohide, walking a little bit too much forward. Wow. That was a badly timed grab move from Kohide. Oh lord, and Hagata getting the bait on the burst and the punish on it too. Puts one on the board. We have a game, a match, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this pans out. Good stuff from Hagata though. Ooh. Again with the 2D man. Catching Kohide at distances that he does not want to get caught. Nice standing HK though. H HS. You can see Hagara trying to bait them text attempts from Kohide. I guess the knockdown though. 
for Senko Hide to spend some bar in order to... Oh, 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 lord, that was big. Go to Wild Assault. I get I'm looking pretty good. And the bar, but still not enough to keep Hagera out. Koide looking a little bit lost yet again. Oof. Here we go with the knockdown. I get up, man. Getting the knockdown again. Ooh. I get up pretty good now. Ah, nice grab from Kohide. Try to get that corner positioning. Lord, the Puente for the save. Ooh, and Kohide getting that bait, bur that burst bait. Gonna go, yeah, for the Wild Assault in order to secure a... Lord. Ah, that was nice stuff from Kohide. Evens the rounds out. One match to one round. Who's gonna take it? The one who takes this one is gonna definitely feel a lot more relieved. A very nice XP from Kohide. And here we go with the air to air. Oh lord. Nice wall break from Kohide. Definitely looking very, very assertive this time around. Forcing the burst on Ayala. Ayala finding the opening. Ooh. Oh, thank you, Minion, for the juggle potential. Oh, nice air grab right there from Ayala. Oh, again, I get up with the 2D, man. Oh, this is gonna be a catch. Oh, Lord. Oh, and the double standing a close S for the kill. I gotta take the lead. Two to one. I gotta just needs one more match if he wants to win the tournament. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, nice with punish from Kohide. Forcing the burst upon. Oh, I get up. Here we go to close S. Nice grab from Hagera. Goes for the empty low. Oof. Oh, big 2 S counter hit. Here we go to juggle. Hagera straight into the Illusion Driver for the hard knockdown guaranteed. It was gonna be the mix. No mix. Oh, okay, here we go. Two minions are on board, but very nice of bar from Kohi to find the opening. And a decent amount of damage goes for the Wild Assault for the guaranteed hard knockdown. Try to read the wake up overdrive from Hagera. And again, man, with the confirms from Kuida. Ooh! Oh, nice bait on the YRC. That was sick. Thankfully for Hagera, he did not spend his, uh, did not waste his burst, though. That would have been catastrophic for him. I would have wasted. <laughs> Here we go with the cross of this time around. Cool, he did block it quickly. Nice juggle from Hagara. Oh, Lord, find the opening on the 2D. Punishes the recovery. Wow, nice with punish from Koi. It goes for the troll vow. Oh, Lord. Oh. Uh, nice stuff, nice confirm from IPL. I should be able to get the kill. And he does. We are on tournament point. Is I gonna be able to seal the deal? We shall see. Oh, double knockdown. And Hagara gets the advantage, goes for the grab. Yeah, oh, Koide getting opened up straight into the illusion driver. I gotta can smell it. He can smell the win. Is he gonna be able to do it? He can definitely smell it. Is this gonna happen? Oh, nice grab from Kohide. Oh, oh lord. Oh, oh, oh lord. It's not over till it's over. Not over till it's over. Puente, 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 puente. Whoa, whoa! What the hell happened? Woo! Wild Assault, ah, Kohide getting pretty crazy. Ah, okay, he wanted to, he wanted to, okay. Very nice decision from Kohide. Man, he saved it, man. Very nice decision of Kohide, he wanted, he used uh, all of his Wild Assault 
to lower the um, the burst of Hagiara to prevent him from bursting and dealing the killing blow in the process. That was very very genius from uh, from from Kohide. Very very next level type of you know uh, strategy from from Kohide. That being said, you can see that Hagiara is a little bit angst angstier right now, angry. Definitely, he has his eyes on the prize. He does not want to let up. And here we go with Kohide. Ooh, getting scooped by the 2 B though. Oh lord. Oh. Wow, that's 6 B though. Wow, and Hagala shielded from the skin of his teeth. Again, tournament point. I feel like we're gonna go up until the, the last run of the last match. I feel like it's gonna be the case. Again, here we go with the tick pressure. Big counter hit right there from Hagara. I gotta try to get to check the. Oh lord! Yeah, two. Oh lord! This is big. This is big. This is really big. Ah, nice Abari. Ooh, from Koyde finds the opening and the side switch. Yeah, let's see how this turns out. I feel like he's gonna go to the last round or not. Wow, that was sick. Ooh, big 2D counter hit. Oh, and here we go with going to force upon the burst. Ooh, and just like this, Hagara takes it with the OTG after bracket.